he was right there. You run to God and you say, Father, I thank you that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that you are working mightily in my life. And I thank you that you are transforming me from the image of Jesus Christ from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you have sanctified me. See, confession, yes, but not confession of, of your sins over and over and over. God knows that. He saw that. If you confess your sins, He's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Okay, what unrighteousness do you have to be cleansed of if God made you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus? What sins do you have to confess if He's forgiven you of all your sins, past, present, and future? Now that passage of Scripture is for unsaved people. God saved. If you say the same thing about your sins that God says... You'll receive me, the blood of Jesus. You'll get under the blood of Jesus, and then the blood of Jesus will constantly speak on your behalf, and you'll be free from all your sins. That's for unsaved people, not for saved people. Amen? Now, what, I, what do I confess to God? Well, listen, you're struggling with a habit. You're struggling with, a, with, a, with a, uh, an attitude. You're struggling with something that seems to grip you. How do you get over that? Father, I just thank you in the name of Jesus that you declare me the righteousness of God. I thank you for the person and the power of the Holy Spirit that's working mightily in my life. And I bless you, Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless your holy name. And I forget not your benefits, Lord. You forgive all my iniquities. You heal all my diseases. You redeem my life from destruction. You crown me with loving kindness and tender mercies. You satisfy my mouth with good things so that my youth is renewed like the eagles. Lord, you've already judged all those that are oppressed. You've judged in favor of those that are oppressed. God, I'm oppressed with this condition that I'm in. I'm oppressed because I have not reached, you know, I, I need to grow some more. God says, okay, I've already judged it. That, that's not judging anybody of their individual sins right now. He wants people to be either saved or not saved. That's the way he's looking at people today. He's not looking to see how many luckies you're smoking. He's not looking to see if you have a glass of wine with your meal. Amen. He's not looking to see what you're watching on television. Are you saved or are you not? Do you love God? Are you walking with the Lord? Is he, are, you, are you yielding and depending on the Holy Spirit? Amen? God's not looking at your faults. He's looking through the blood of Jesus. And he's saying, remember last week I was saying, we are his workmanship. We are his poema. We are his creative masterpiece. And yes, you know, outside we may not have reached sinless perfection. I don't know that anybody has. I don't know if anybody will in this life. But in the spirit, man, we are sinful. Per we are sin sinless perfection, just like Jesus, and that's where God's dealing with us. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad? Yes. Now just walk with God and be fine, buddy, friends. All those things that bear you down, they'll fall off. They won't even be a problem. You won't even consider that anymore. You'll run to God, not away from Him. Let's just finish a couple of scriptures here. From henceforth, experiencing till his enemies be made his people. For by one offering, Jesus at the cross, he has perfected forever. Say forever. forever. Perfected forever. Them who he, they are sanctified. That's us. We're sanctified. God sets us apart the moment we are saved. And the moment he sets us apart, he perfects us forever. Pardon my exuberance this morning. Whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that he has said, This is the covenant I will make with them. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts and in their minds, and I will write them, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. So not only did he take our sinful nature, not only did he change that rebellious, iniquitous nature out, that propensity to sin, but he forgave us of all sins, past, present, future. So he dealt with the, the root of it, the nature, and he dealt with all of those acts of sin too. Amen? Now, does that make you want to run out and sin? Or does that make you want to just love God and say, Father, I'm yours? Does that make you want to reckon yourself in deep dead unto sin but alive unto God? Amen. I've been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet. Not I, but Christ lives in me. See, that's the problem. We keep trying to live this life with our own strength and our own efforts. And that's not why we got saved. We got saved so that the Holy Spirit could live inside of us. And now the life that I live in the flesh, in this body, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. God loves you. He loves you unconditionally. As far as the east is from the west, nobody can separate you from the love of God. 
And there's nothing God won't do in you or for you because of what Jesus did at the cross. He forgives all our iniquities. Now, I can just focus on His righteousness. I can focus on His goodness, His love, His mercy, His grace. And that's an empowerment. I, I don't forget His benefits, and that empowers me to live the way God wants me to live. Amen? That doesn't make me run away from it. It makes me want to live. Why, why, why did the Old Testament saints, why did they live in sin? Because they forgot His benefits. They forgot the goodness of God. Amen? We can't forget it. Because now it's part of our nature. Now we have the mind of Christ. Amen? Besides that, I'll remind you how good God is. <laughs> Praise God. Anybody? Questions? Anything you want to add to? Anything you didn't understand? Okay. Want to get that prayer now, Bob? Or did you get healed just listening? <laughs> okay, come on up. Come on. Anybody here you need prayer today? Everybody saved, healed, and delivered? You know that? You got that the day you got saved? So what do you do now? How do you appropriate that? Father, I just thank you that your spirit lives in me. It's a spirit of life and healing and power. And I have that right now in the name of Jesus. And I just thank you right now that your spirit's working mightily in me in Jesus' name. Now, the Bible is accurate when it says to come and those that are infirmed and have hands laid on you or anointed with oil. I particularly, go ahead, Bob, you can come. I don't have any oil to be anointed to anoint with, but I am anointed of the Holy Ghost as you are. Amen. And that oil is, is really pointing us to the person of the Holy Spirit who is the one in the empowerment to do the job. See, I have these hands. But God, the Holy Spirit, lives inside of me. And when I put my hands on people, these are the hands of Jesus, and so are yours. Amen? When you open your mouth and you speak the goodness of God and you speak the Word of God, those are the words of Jesus. And God backs up your words and your acts of faith in accordance with the Word of God in the same way He does with His Son, Jesus. So don't think of yourself anything less or behind or not in a condition of Jesus because that's where God put you the day you got saved. Amen? Amen. Well, we're just going to pray with Bob right here right now. Now, that's your eye, Bob? Yes. Oh, that's your, let's see, that's your right eye, right? Yes. Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to touch my right eye in the name of Jesus. Now, do you know what's wrong with it? Yes. What is it? The blood vein is hemorrhaged. Okay. In the name of Jesus right now. I'll put life into that eye right now. I take away this infirmity right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I take away any pain, any suffering, any lack of vision. I speak to your retina right now in the name of Jesus. And I come in to be normal. Totally and completely perfected right now. By God's mercy and by His grace. By the finished work of Jesus at the cross of Calvary. I bring life to you, brother. I bring healing to you right now in the name of Jesus. I say this stops now. I say this eye is perfected right now in the name of Jesus. The power of God, the great and mighty Holy Spirit right now, flows into that eye. It makes all things brand new right now. Hemorrhaging stop now in the name of Jesus. Retina be made whole now in the name of Jesus. I just realized this. Anybody else? Ministry. Those of you that are watching right now, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. We have a prayer request. Uh, Alright, what is it? We have a prayer request. Praise yeah, God. So, only, 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 by, only by computer can you do this. Okay, it's, his name is Renee. 
and he had one of prayer about paralyzed in his face and eyes. And for John, he's a young man. All right, let's do one at a time. Let's do one. Okay. okay. Let's do Renee, okay? Well, let's do this. Let's all just pray for Renee. Let's put our hands on her face. In the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. We command all paralysis to go now in Jesus' name. Now, we take this paralysis away from you in the name of Jesus. We bring life to you, Renee, in the name of Jesus. We say, be healed, be whole, be perfected now in the name of Jesus. Right now, by God's grace and by his mercy, right now, we set you free. Be free in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, the other one is for John. He's a young man with diagnosis with mess in his bones and depression and uh, used to be a believer. I don't know what and that what's is. And what's in his bones? Um, it's just a, some mass. Okay. So he has mass in his bones. What else? A mass in his bones? Uh, what else? Depression. 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 Okay, Father, in Jesus' name. John, all your sins are forgiven you in the name of Jesus. So right now, in Jesus' name, I declare you free. Now, John, Jesus Christ loves you. And if you believe in your heart, confess Him as Lord. You said you used to be saved. You used to be a Christian. Listen, you don't you don't get out. You, you get in one time and you stay there. God hasn't given up on you. And so all you need to do is just lift your hand and say, Jesus. And so right now, in Jesus' name, we command that mass to go in Jesus' name. All depression, go in the name of Jesus. Now, John, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Begin to praise God. Begin to thank God. And keep that praise and that thanksgiving in your heart and in your lips. And that depression must flee in the name of Jesus. So, John, we declare you free. All anxiety, all depression right now in the name of Jesus must go now. Now, by God's grace and mercy, Father, let the love of God just overwhelm John. Let him experience that right now where he is. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. All right, let's stand, everybody. Praise God. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, sure. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you pray? We'll come to agreement with you. Yeah, because you, you have the same authority and the same power and the same love in your heart that I do. So go ahead. Everybody just listen. We'll come to agreement. Everybody said, Amen. 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 Says we agree with that. We have another. We have one request. more. One more, okay. Yeah. And it's uh, a person that has uh, auto autoimmune disease. Okay. Dominance in the bones, and he. Okay, I, I know that. I know that. Yeah. Right now, what's his name? His name is uh, well, he is PB. 4G. Yeah, we don't know. Okay, brother, right now, you know who you are. And I'm telling you, your sins are forgiven. Right now, in the name of Jesus. And that iniquity and the consequences of that sin, Jesus bore the cross at Calvary. So we reverse this condition in your body right now. And I command your immune system to come into alignment with the Word of God. Come into alignment with the finished work of the cross at Calvary. Listen, here's God's love now. In Jesus' name, be free. Amen. In the name of Jesus, that's God's love for you. You receive that right now. Everybody that's watching, everybody that's here right now, you are free in Jesus' name. God bless you.